Hello YouTubers, welcome back to our channel, Smithshack's Custom Baits, Rick Smithshack here. Um, today we're going to be, uh, we're going to be making some tubes. And uh, I'm going to make tubes in, uh, in the 2 inch and in the 3 and a half inch molds. We're going to make a two color bait and we're going to do it a little bit differently than we have that we've made two color baits in the past. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, we're going to be using black and blue, um, just the same colors that I use for a llama, uh, but this time it's not going to be a llama. And we're not going to do any cutting, so stick with us. We're watching out, or we're watching, good. I'm uh, heating up the plastic all now, we're using remilk today, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about, right? Okay, we're ready to uh, we're ready to go ahead and shoot the blue. So let's get that done while it's still hot. The microwave just dinged on the on the other color. A little pressure on each shot. Okay, I'm gonna do the, do the big tubes. There's some air in there. All right, there we go. Oh, and I, well, let's see here. We'll have to see if this last mold filled completely. One injector might not, one six ounce injector might not be enough to shoot all these. Okay, what we're gonna do here We're going to take these baits out of the mold here in just a minute, but we're not going to take them off the splines just yet. Um, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and dip these things. Um, we're going to go ahead and dip them, get some of this crap picked up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and dip them in the black. So. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get the camera moved over so you can see so you can see the baits when we pull them out, and uh, and also watch watch the dipping process. All right, here we go. All right, as you can see, I've already unclamped both sets of molds. Let's go ahead and get this this part part of the process started. We'll go ahead and. Uh, Let's move these guys out of the way. There we go. And well, I see there's one. It needs to be popped loose. There we go. Just nice and gentle. There's the tubes. I always forget something, don't I? Didn't grab my scissors. Okay. Oh, and this one didn't fill. Yep, sure didn't. Look at that. This was that last one I said, oh, I don't know if that filled all the way. Look at that. It sure as heck didn't. Not enough plastic all. So we're just going to go ahead and take these and these aren't even, <laughs> these aren't even worth saving. All right. Let's get this thing out of the way. We'll get that other mold. Yeah, my injector wasn't quite full. So, but I figured it should be enough, and obviously I figured wrong. Okay. Pop those loose, there we go. Ah, see, now look at that. See, now those look pretty awesome. That's what, that's what should have happened in the other mold. There's that. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do here. All right. Now, this thing here, this rack, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this forward. Take these over here. Let's see if we can't get this rack in the picture. There we go. This rack I made yesterday. <laughs> um, and it's it's not pretty, folks. It is not pretty at all, but it does hang the baits. Okay, now we're gonna dip these 
into that hot black plastic saw. We're gonna hang them in there like so. Okay, we've got some, here comes the next, the next one, all the way to the bottom. And one thing that with, with these with these tubes is that um, these legs here are pretty thin. And so you can't put a whole lot of salt in the tubes or in that plastic saw because otherwise they just won't fill out properly, okay? Um, but what you can do is the second color that you're dipping, just, uh, I'm going to need to open that one up just a little bit. Um, just put salt in that and that's what these have. This black is, has plenty of salt in it. Let's go ahead and hang that one there. All right, now let's go ahead and grab a. I'll grab a, a one of these three inch or three inch, one of these two inch tubes. Get off there. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and move these back again. You can see what I'm doing. You notice these filled out. These filled out really nice, um, but they might not if if you use too much salt. Here we go. Let me give that a stir. Yeah, a lot of that salt is settling already. Dip this, ooh, lake popping out. Don't want that down in the black. There we go, one more here. After we do this this last one in this mold, I'll, uh, I'll do the rest of them off camera. You probably don't need to see me do every single one of these. Ooh, whoops. Got a little, got a little close there with the black. There we go. And this one, we dipped it a second, kind of dipped it a second time. Kind of got it dipped in there a second time, so the head on it's gonna be a little bit bigger. All right, we'll be right back as soon as they're all done. Okay, here we go. They're all dipped, they're all ready to go. You see, see how they filled out real nice. And uh, this is the first time I've done this, so uh, next time I need to make sure I have enough plastisol so that I can dip them up to about here, which is okay. Um, the other thing is, is that you you don't necessarily, oh, and look at that, that little blemish there. That's because it touched the other bait. So I'm gonna have to make sure when I set it in there, they set them, they, they don't touch, whatever. That's, I'm betting some of these little ones did the same. But um, um, the other thing with this here is, is that you can dip it as far as you want. Um, but normally you see them dip, the, the colors are up to about where the, about where the legs are. So well, let's go ahead and take this off. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Let's take one of these little ones off. Okay, one thing you might have to do is sometimes there's a little bit there's sometimes there's a little bit of plastic that drips off the nose here. You just snip that off with a pair of scissors. But see this here? This sorry, I'm hitting the cord for the camera here. Um, hmm. Maybe I can do like so. Yeah, here we go. A little learning process here to keep from hitting the stupid thing. 
that's pretty nice. And, and this one, and the, the smaller ones, I, I was able to, since they're not as long, I was able to dip them all the way up to where the legs start. So let's go ahead and uh, take this thing off. You know, my best bet might just be to reach around. There we go. Get the legs hanging down. There we go. There we go. Check it out. Bob's your uncle. Again. Okay. Let me get all these pulled off the splines and uh, we'll show them all to you then. Okay, there we go. Here's all the baits we just made. Uh, unfortunately, we only have we only have four of the three and a half inch, but um, they all look fantastic. There's a couple blemishes on uh, even on the other even on the little ones where I let them touch, um, but those blemishes are just cosmetic. And uh, since they're from my tackle box, I don't really care. Um, I assumed that this first batch would be when I, as I tried out my new ugly rack. Um, maybe we'll name it the Ugly. <laughs> um, but uh, so I just need to make sure when I, when I'm when I'm hanging these, uh, especially for when I'm making them for somebody else's tackle box, um, I just need to make sure I space them just a little bit. Um, I probably would have been better off using a one by four. Um, and who knows? Maybe maybe later down the road I'll make another one that's uh, that'll hold more of these rods and splines and that where I can space them a little further, use it one by four, for instance. Um, but uh, for now, that works. It uh, was what I came up with in a pinch. I didn't even try to, I didn't use a square on the thing to try to square up all the pieces, parts. Cuts aren't square, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay. um, but, um, but this is a, this is a, this is a, an easy way to make two color bait, two color two baits, um, especially if you don't have, um, if you don't have a twin injector like I do. Um, and with the twin injector, you shoot them as a landing. Um, this way, um, when you do it this way, it has several advantages. One, it, well, look at that. I need to trim that too. A little nub there. There we go. There we go. That was just from uh, the dipping process, um, but um, it makes the it makes the bait a little bit heavier, so you get a little more cast distance out of it. Um, it also makes the nose of the bait heavier, so it sinks, so it, it'll give it a different uh, a different fall because this is heavier. Um, and uh, with with the extra material on here, it should also make it more durable, at least in theory. Um, Two baits are generally not super durable anyways because they're hollow. Um, hence the name two. <laughs> but um, and uh, like I said with these with these pardon me there, these thin legs like this, I mean you can't always uh, can't always give a guy a, a bunch of salt in, in the in the in the bait because because the legs just won't they just won't fill out. Okay. Um, but this way, alleviates that. There's no salt in this blue, none at all. But there is, there is heavy salt in the black. So, you just have to make sure you keep stirring it up um, so, so you don't lose too much of the salt to the bottom of the cup. But um, yeah, that's it. Those are our new two color, two color tube baits. Okay, so that's it for this week's video. It's, uh, hopefully it's not too terribly long. Um, but, um, We'll be making more baits like this, or I will be, I should say. You have that mouse in my pocket again. <laughs> but if you liked what you saw, then hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, we're still we're still shooting for the uh, for the 250 subscribers. Uh, today I looked, we had 172. Um, so that's that snowball is starting to slowly roll down the hill. Um, hopefully, it starts rolling a little faster uh, and getting bigger and bigger. You know. uh, but uh, if you, if you haven't already done it, check out the, uh, the subscriber contest video. It'll be linked uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the comments, uh, the, comments uh, the description. Um, also, we, uh, I put up some, uh, some stick baits in our remelt and uh, a few 
uh, bait kits, uh, panfish baits, uh, or and helper mites, uh, up on eBay. I'll have that link to the store, to the eBay store, um, down in the, in the description as well as, as the link to our Shopify store. So, um, you have to share, or you at least have to say you shared to enter the subscriber contest. Uh, so, but share anyways. It's the right thing to do to help your, to help your fellow humans out. That's what we're, that's what we're at our best and that's what our moms taught us to do. <laughs> they did, right? At least mine did. I'm pretty sure yours did too. Um, but that said, until next time, tight lines and calm waters.